Hey guys, so I just finished watching DC Animated Studios' Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, starring the voice talents of Christian Slater, Vanessa Williams, Billy Brown, and Liam McIntyre, just to name a few. Yeah, like we all know how the live action Justice League movies are going in comparison to the DC animated stuff. And yeah, like I keep saying in my reviews of these movies is that the animated stuff is far superior to the live action. That goes without saying. When you get quality movies like this, it makes you wonder what they're doing over there. It's they're taking really great stories about characters that we all know and love and cheating them with, pardon the pun, justice. So this is a simple story. Amanda Waller wants a thing, right? She wants it really, really badly. I'm not going to give away the plot, but she just wants this thing. So she needs the squad to go on a suicide mission to go get it. And we have a whole staple of DC villains turning up in this thing and causing mayhem. Now this one is rated R in America. It was rated MA here for violence, graphic nudity, violence, swearing, and violence. This movie is really not for kids. It's quite over the top how much brutality is in this flick. We have people getting shot in the head. There's blood spraying everywhere. We've got limbs coming off again people cut in half there's some really vicious smackdowns so this animated movie is really targeted at an adult audience and i loved it keep your heads on the mission if you want to keep them on your shoulders everyone has given such wonderful performance behind the microphone giving a lot of character and personality to the drawings on screen. I really, really enjoyed what they did with this one. Directed by Sam Liu, who also gave us Batman the Killing Joke, Batman Gotham by Gaslight, Batman and Harley Quinn, Gods vs. Monsters. He's done a lot of these movies, so he really knows what he's doing. But this movie was just balls to the wall action and fun from beginning to end. Like I said, the animated movies are just so on point when it comes to the DC stuff, and especially with the, the harder edge cartoon violence and and the mayhem i mean this is the first time i've ever watched an animated male stripper before ever and there is like some nudity in this as well which is kind of unheard of in a, in a superhero flick i mean basically that's essentially what this is it's a dc universe what the hell but i love with the gun with these movies they're targeting a specific audience and and they're just going for it and having fun now the the 4k hdr yeah amazing Animation is just made for 4K HDR. The colors in this thing are so vibrant. All the costumes, all the powers the, the heroes, all the villains use against each other. Some, you know, laser beams, uh, ice bolts. We got we got force lightning. I'm not going to go into specifics about who's here and who isn't. But the colors just pop right off the screen. The animation just looks fantastic. One of the staples of the DC animated universe is the animation is always so well done and the acting the voice work is always on point as well he's history's bloodiest tyrant find him i'll slice a year off all your sentences i didn't sign up to deal with an immortal butcher you didn't sign up for anything one more thing this one's off the grid you'll be dealing with me directly and only me but to have these movies released on the 4k hdr format is just icing on the cake they're getting the treatment they deserve and they're so much fun um one of the specials one of the special features on this disc also was a sneak peek of the death of superman which is the next movie coming out they initially did this story with superman doomsday uh, many years ago which basically was an okay adaption of the book which i read many times over the course of the years as one of my favorite reads and what they're doing is really fleshing it out this time. They kind of had um, the death of Superman and his resurrection in that initial movie. Well, this one is just kind of like um, the Justice League and Superman taking on Doomsday. And that whole first part of that 
initial movie is going to be this whole thing. It's going to be fleshed out. It's going to be the story of the death of Superman. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do that. Um, with the voice work of Jerry O'Connell as Superman, I enjoy his work as well. So, And Rebecca Romaine is playing Lois Lane, his real-life wife. So that's going to be really cool. They should have a really good chemistry behind the mic. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Because, you know, Batman vs. Superman, the whole death of Superman arc was the last five minutes of that movie and five minutes in Justice League and it just was not given the, once again, justice uh, that it deserves. For a hero as iconic as Superman, his death really needs to mean something and I hope they really kind of flesh that out in the new Death of Superman movie. I'm really looking forward to seeing it and, um, yeah. So, rating Suicide Squad Hell to Pay... Going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Really entertaining DC story. The Suicide Squad in these movies is a lot better than the Suicide Squad we got in the movie. Um, really entertaining. The repertoire between all the characters and just having that freedom of animation to kind of just cut loose and, and, and go over the top with the violence. It was a story that the Suicide Squad can really have a lot of fun in so it's a really cool really cool thing to have these animated movies out there and side characters like the villains in the Suicide Squad just having room to play and to breathe and so yeah it was a really really fun movie I enjoyed it quite a lot anyway guys that's that's my review on the DC animated Suicide Squad Hell to Pay a lot of fun please don't forget to subscribe throw me a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching I think we're being summoned. You're out. If you're in. Ah, oh, great. Only 87 more suicide missions to go.